A really convenient feature that Laravel provides is called named routes. What this does is it creates a name for each route. For example, we have a username route and we want this to show the profile. So we're going to call this the profile route. And the way we do that is we create an as and profile is the name of the route that we're creating. The reason we would want to use named routes is because in our views, we can call that named route using the route helper. So we can call the route, the name is profile, and we'll pass in the username to it. And that gets passed in here. And this route helper will automatically generate the route for us. Now, why would we want to do this? It does add a little bit more text and a little bit more code to our routes.php file. But the benefits are that if we have a route that is an at username, and then maybe in the future we wanted to switch away from at username and just do slash username, there would be no code changes required. We would use the route helper, call the profile route, and Laravel would automatically generate the route if it would have an at for the username or if it doesn't have the at username. Let's see how this works. Right now we have a home page, an about page, and a contact page. All of these use their own templates. Let's try to simplify this. We're going to refactor our views a little bit with some blade layouts. Under resources, views, we're going to create a new folder called layouts. And in that layouts folder, we're just going to create a main.blade.php file. And this will be our main HTML layout. Let's start with our HTML file, my routing app. Here we'll do a header, nav, ul, li, we'll do three for now. Put an a tag in each of those. This goes home. This goes to the about page. This goes to the contact page. And we'll yield content here. Okay, we've created a blade layout. Let's use that for the home page. We're going to extend layouts. And this automatically looks in resources views folder and the layouts folder we just created, main. We're going to create the section for the content. And section, I am the home page. Let's make sure that works. That's extends, not extend. And now we have our home page. Perfect. We'll copy this over to the about page. And the same for the contact page that we have. All right. Our contacts page has that form. Perfect. And we're missing the contact link. Let's go back to main, add that. All right, so now we have all that ready to go. These correspond to the home page, the about page, and the contact page. Let's say we wanted to change about to about us, and let's change contact to contact dash us. Now immediately this breaks our views. And this is the big problem if you don't use named routing is that you would have to go into your views and change those back around. The about page link breaks. So we would go in, change this to about us and contact us, but we don't really want to do that. If we have large applications, this could get a little time consuming and hard to find all the locations where our URLs are at. In order to fix this, we have named routes. We'll create as, And then the way we do controller routing is we say uses, and that passes over to that. Let's clean this up a bit. Align those. And now our rods.php file is a little bit longer and a little bit more code, but we get the benefit of named routes. Now over here in our main blade, instead of just linking to the slash or slash about and directly typing in the URL, we can use the route helper in blade to go to the about page. And we can use the same for the contact page. Refresh this. 
Oh, looks like we refreshed on the contact page, but that no longer exists. Let's go back to the home page. Now, if we look, this is linking to about-us, and this links to contact-us. And you can see that in the bottom of the Chrome browser here. We can click through to the about page. Oh, it looks like it's missing argument one, and that's from when we were in the site controller a couple lessons ago, and we added the username. And that was not that was not nullable, that was required, so that's what threw the error. We'll remove that. We have our home page, about page, contact page again. Refresh this, and we have the about page and the contact page links that work perfectly. Let's say we wanted to change that again. We want to go back to contact and back to about. The name of the route stays the same. The URL will change accordingly. Oh, contact us doesn't exist anymore. About links directly to about and contact links to contact again. We can do the same for the contact form. We were posting to contact. We can create route contact here. Refresh that. Inspect and our route. Let's bring that out a little bit. Drag that over. Our contact form is posting to the contact page exactly where we want it to post to. A couple other things to note when we're creating named routes. This syntax definitely lengthens our routes.php file, but we can simplify this. But we can simplify this by using a chaining method. And instead of all of this, we're going to call the route controller and then we'll chain the name about. And this is kind of the way I like to do things. It's definitely a lot cleaner than the other way. And then what about closure style routes? We can do as profile users, we'll call that function, and then we'll close that. And that's the one way to do it. And then the other way is you can chain it down here as well. Name post. All right, named routes give us a lot of flexibility when we're creating our views and we don't have to worry about going back and forth and changing routes and changing view files. This is a very good practice to use in your own applications.